Hi, this is Uwe from Lost in Travel Guides. You might have seen these before. And uh, I'm currently based in Bogota, Colombia. And um, we have four episodes where we present uh, the contributors of our travel guides to you guys here. We are meeting uh, Juliana Ramirez. Um, she's running this beautiful place here. So can you tell us a bit what you are doing? Yes, well, uh, thanks for having me. I, I, we started this place with, uh, with my partner and with some friends. Uh, we bought the house and renovated it. Uh, this is a house from the 1930s. And it was completely built like uh, with a lot of structures that was like uh, uh, all over the patio. And we started to, 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 to keep like things out and just leaving like the original structure of the house uh, and we started planting all this uh, this uh, garden and we have uh, four spaces and it works like a co-working space uh, which has different collectives of people uh, from landscape uh, studios architecture that we do we have uh, another uh, uh, people that have one of the spaces that that have a local agriculture um, project that they sell uh, uh, things that come from outside the countryside and uh, they sell it here in Bogota and uh, in the other space we had a, a cultural agency that works in in Colombia Wow that sounds amazing and, and, and can you share a bit uh, your insights about this whole neighborhood because I hear that it's up and coming used to be more like a rundown uh, district and now since a few years or months like it's more like the art district so what's the history behind this neighborhood here yes well this is san felipe it's a neighborhood that started like five years ago uh, to to like start a transformation it uh, there's a, a cultural center which started part of all this movement which is called flora ars natura it's a, an art space from a curator, Jose Roca, and his wife. And they started with this space. It has an exhibition space, but it also has is, uh, like some residence, artist residence. And uh, this started to, to bring all the artists, musicians, and uh, people from the creative uh, like, uh, movement around. So it used to be a place where like there was a, le, a, like car spaces where they fixed the cars wow. and suddenly the artists start to came and started to find some places to, to put some galleries and art spaces. And um, if, if, I, if I'm coming, I mean, I, I've been here before, but if I would come the first time to Colombia as a, as a visitor, where, where would you take me to get this certain vibe of Bogota, especially here in the city, where would you take me? Where would you? Well, I think uh, the with the one of the main places is La Candelaria, the like the center traditional part of the city, where the plaza, the main plaza uh, of the city is, where there's a lot of uh, small restaurants, universities. You can walk around and there's uh, exhibitions. There's La Galeria Santa Fe, which is a very good like national national gallery um, and you can find also the museums the museum del banco de la república which has a contemporary art uh, scene all the time that uh, good, very good exhibitions i think in bogota is very important to go to for example to the mountains there's some places like quebrada la vieja where you can go to the top part of the mountains which is very important too to feel around because we there it's like a very dense city but it's it also has the mountains which are full of water and uh, it, I think it's it's important to have the contrast between the urban part and also the um, the landscape from the heights of the city and I would definitely go to uh, some salsa places there's really good salsa places when they open again it, it, they're they're great thanks for your recommendations thanks for your insights and for your time so so good to be here good thank luck you. for the future thanks for having me